Some of the happiest moments of my life are moments, those incredible moments when I have been filled with laughter and absolute pure joy. I remember years ago, probably 25, 30 years ago, I was on uh, PBS in Kansas City, public broadcasting system, as they were taking donations for their work. I was on a tiered stage at the top tier, and I was answering phones, receiving donations for PBS. Well, I was having a great time, just joy. And I was rocking back in my chair and and having a good time, and I literally fell off the back of the stage. Well, <laughs> it was so funny to me. I continued to laugh. You could hear it on camera. And they saw me fall off stage, which they were greatly concerned about. But no, no reason. I received the greatest donation of the night. And the person on the other end was laughing because they saw what was happening. Oh, I tell you. I pray for those experiences to increase in your life. It says in Psalms, And then our mouth was filled with laughter, and our tongues with shouts of joy. Oh, I pray that happens to you, even today. Why not? I I pray that you see everything in humor and in joy. I pray that You are cheerful and radiant and happy, a joyful child of God. The universe responds in kind to your cheerfulness, your joyous and happy attitude. Believe me, I know this as a fact. Wherever you go smiling and laughing, it is infectious I tell you, it will infect everyone you're around in a positive and a good way. May even change their day. Any mist of melancholy or cloud of doom breaks. It dissipates under the radiant light of joy of God. No darkness can remain in the presence of heartfelt laughter, and love and joy. I used to say during a candle lighting service of our large ministry, even one candle lit in that dark room would change everything. And it will. You will be, as it says in the Bible, the light of the world. It will be something as you let the light of joy shine forth from you. You become, how can I say it, a beacon of cheer. A beacon, like a lighthouse that people crave and they latch on to and they want to feed from. Others respond to your happy nature with words and deeds of friendship and caring. They want to be close to you. Your happiness and laughter are seeds that plant an increase of goodwill. You nurture those seeds and you reap an absolute harvest of gladness. Your relationships are enhanced and your health improves and you find that you have all that you need to live an abundant life. So today, dear friend, I pray you are cheerful. I pray you are radiantly alive. I pray that you are happy. I pray that you are also a radiating beacon of God's light a radiating beacon of God's love and God's laughter to all that you meet. I pray that your mouth is filled with laughter. 
I pray that your tongue is filled with shouts of joy.